give up or die. In your dreams, Quarkface. Gotcha. Your history. Oh, the Cryptonic decoy tactic. You walked right into it, just as I planned. You want to play again? Okay. But this time, I get to be the alien. I'll help you last time. Buckle up, Earth boy. It's meaningless noise. It's the real thing. Go home. You're fired. To the holder of this letter, my commendations. Solving the puzzle of the chest required more than considerable deductive powers. My work has consumed my life, and I have produced no heir to follow in my path. But I picture you, a young man of good imagination. Any mystery devised by mortal minds can be solved therewith. Yours faithfully, Sherlock Holmes. This week on Reddington's World News, we talked to British diplomat Robert Holmes. Hurry, Dad, you're gonna miss yourself. Oh, it's just a little spot. Nothing much to miss. A seasoned and accomplished statesman, Mr. Holmes understands the balance between freedom of information and the obligation of the government to protect national security. What the... Uh, wh what did you do? Nothing. The picture just disappeared. That's a brand new dish. We should have stuck to cable. to propose. You know, darkly the river runs, only the most important moment on TV history. This afternoon, Jake was down when he, he had the ring. Amanda looked radiant. <laughs> and then my picture went berserk. <laughs> Same thing happened at our house in the middle of East Enders. My mom freaked. It wasn't pretty. Our satellite dish went off too. Bart, did you lose reception? Hey, Bo, you live here, Alicia's here, and I'm here. House in the middle is Bart's. Your shirt's buttoned wrong. You didn't finish your onion rings, and you left a tip for Alicia. What's up? You better tell her, she's gonna find out anyway. Okay, it was me. I commandeered the satellite dishes. I made everybody miss their programs. I'm sorry, I was just trying to get the signal again. The signal? The signal from outer space. What? The laws of probability indicate that there are 10,000 technologically advanced civilizations in the Milky Way alone. We were doing the targeted search of the galaxy last night when we got the signal. Do you know what that means? I mean. We're not alone. I mean, there are other sentient beings in the cosmos. And I was there when they communicated with us. And then? Dr. Henry fired me. Why did he do that? I don't know. Dr. Henry's, you know, not like other people. He's a genius, but even by my standard, he's pretty out there. How did you know it was really a signal? Well, the sound wasn't satellite or terrestrial interference. It came from deep space. 
Dr. Henry said it was meaningless noise, but it repeated itself in a coherent pattern. I've been trying to email him, but he won't answer me. Maybe I should have let him win more at Tachyon Wars. Why would a SETI scientist be the first person to get a signal from outer space? Surely. And for argument's sake, let's say he did. Why then would he deny it? Hey, he rules for an old guy. They're making rap music? Everybody dreams of being a rock star at one point. He has a PhD from MIT, an award of merit from NASA, space monitoring equipment. And a drawer full of empty chocolate bar wrappers. Rats. He's transmitting. What, rap music? Bouncing his transmission off the Russian space station. Why is he doing that? Maybe he's trying to sabotage it. You mean some kind of spy? Shirley, come here. Look. <laughs> Thought you'd given us the slip. Doc, you don't understand. I just need a couple more hours, please. slipping away this time. You Bart James? Who wants to know? He's not James. Do you have any identification? Federal agents. What department? Classified. How do you know Henry? I don't. Well, if you see him again, avoid him. He's an escaped psychiatric patient. He talks his way into observatories. So, the guy's a nut bar. Maybe. But he's no ordinary nut bar. Our federal agents would be after him. Though I think he is involved in something big. And something dangerous. There's no O. Henry registered in any psychiatric hospital in Reading. I told you he's not crazy. He's the greatest astrophysicist that ever lived. Why don't we call NASA? Maybe they know where he is. I already checked. No one named O. Henry ever worked for NASA or graduated from MIT. Do you know where he lives? No. Where did you two meet? At the SETI group. What about his family? He never talks about them. They're somewhere far away. What does the O in his name stand for? O. What does it stand for? No, O as in uh-oh. His name is the same as the chocolate bar? Yep. Part, that beat you were tapping earlier on, how did it go? It's the same beat as the rap music Dr. Henry was transmitting. So now you believe there is a signal? Yes, but where did it come from? And where was Dr. Henry sending his back to? The signal. That's why the government agents are after him. Well, we gotta find him before they do. Do you have any idea where he might be? No. Yes. No. No. 
Excellent shot. Oh, boy, you found me. Are these guys your friends? Yeah, this is Shirley, this is Bo. Why are federal agents after you? Let's all play. Bart said you got a signal? Oh! Come on, come on. You're not who you say you are. You don't have a PhD from MIT. It's your shot. I read the material. It was, it was neat, but a little primitive. Anyway, the Red Sox were playing the day of the finals, and I cut them. NASA's never heard of you. I was only there three weeks. I gave them a formula for warp speed fuel. Warp speed fuel? Yeah. So why did you lie? Nobody had let me use their equipment unless I had papers. Guys, look! Run! Wait, hurry! There they are. Dr. Henry, come on! Come on! Oh. Hey, leave them alone! Are you Bart James? Your little friend here has been leaving you a lot of emails. Thanks for tipping us off. You're coming too. No, I'll tell you everything you want to know. Just leave him out of it. I'm come. not going to leave you. I'll be all right. The power's down on the space station. Where are you taking him? I didn't do it, honest. Hey, guys. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dr. Henry's knowledge of gravity surpasses anything I've ever seen. Cool. It's all my fault he got caught. The key has to be the signal. We have to find out what that signal meant. It might lead us to him. Could you get it again? My computer security code at the lab was cancelled. You can't get it any other way? Sure, with the whole field of satellite dishes. F-10 puts the program in target scan. Come on, move. Yes. And so we're rebroadcasting our interview with British diplomat Robert Holmes. A seasoned and accomplished statesman, Mr. Holmes understands the balance between freedom of information and... Uh. <sighs> but I just switched back to cable. We gotta get out of here. The cable guys are coming. I've got a hundred billion stars to scan. It's the signal. Press F7. That'll record it. If we don't get out now, we're busted. Seriously coded. I can't read it. We can't find Dr. Henry without the signal. We can't crack the signal until we find Dr. Henry. You know, it's different than the first one. I think the aliens answered Dr. Henry's transmission. Bart, he's been bouncing a signal off the space station. That doesn't mean he's been talking to aliens. You heard the agents say, the power's down on the station. Could be sabotaging. No way. Dr. Henry's my friend. We gotta find him. Wait. At the mini golf, the federal agent's car was fixed. The windshield was smashed outside the SETI lab. Precisely. So who fixed it? Auto body shops. Jeez. There's a lot of them. We'll start with the ones close to the lab. Yes, um, I just wanted to confirm that you have the agency's office address so that you can send us the repair bill. Yes, that is the right address. Good 
can't see anyone inside. Maybe they gave the auto shop a false address. Well, there's only one way to find out. A phone company that doesn't sell phones. Could be front the federal agency uses. This leads to some kind of underground warehouse. I have a very bad feeling. I'm not gonna ask you Down again. Here. Where did the signal come from? You're mine now, Earthling. When they get here, we'll be there to meet them. No. Leave them alone. Please. One's gonna get hurt if you just tell us how many of you there are. And what you want from us. Nothing. I, I, I took off. I got lost. They've been trying to find me. Couldn't you just let me go? I wouldn't tell anyone about you. Cross my heart and hope to die. Cryptonic decoy tactic. But you Look, don't mess with us. Don't mess with us. Pew, pew. Gotcha, quark face. All right. What the? Pew, pew. Pew, pew. Give up or die. Use this to distract those guys for me. Why? The stairs the only way down. Just do it, okay? Be cool, Earth Boy. Go. 
know. The feel is just fine. How do they do that? I don't know. They never leave anything behind. I, uh, I say we start at the zoo. Right. Uh, last time he pulled his naked act, uh, that's where we found him. Uh, hey. All we have is a signal left. We'll have to decode it. Oh, we can try, but uh, without Dr. Henry around, I don't know. What if we lay in the rap beat? Try this. I think I should try a polyrhythmic bead. Can't be. Confirm pickup. 41 degrees, 49 minutes north, 87 degrees. It's the latitude and longitude of Reddington. If Dr. Henry was being picked up like he said, he wasn't being picked up in a car. P.S. You're grounded? Spies don't get grounded. But kids do. Whoa. You're saying we spent the last two days running around with a kid alien hiding in an old man's body? I don't know what I'm saying. You know something you're not telling us, don't you? Either you believe, or you don't believe. It's that simple. <laughs>